Which of the following is the correct formula for potassium hydrogen phosphate? A. KHPO4 B. K2HPO4 or C. KH2PO4 To determine the formula of a compound given its name, we need to first classify the compound, then apply the rule for that type of compound. Potassium hydrogen phosphate is an ionic compound. You should know that if the name of a compound starts with the name of a metallic element, it's ionic. Cations are generally derived from atoms of metallic elements, such as potassium. The location of potassium in the periodic table, group 1A, we know that the charge of the potassium ion is plus 1. The first part of the name of any ionic compound is the name of the cation. The rest of the name has to do with the name of the anion. In this case, it's hydrogen phosphate. And the formula of hydrogen phosphate is HPO4 with a negative 2 charge. How do we know this? It's trivial information, so we look it up, or better yet, we just memorize it. At this point, we can eliminate choice C. In choice C, the anion appears to be dihydrogen phosphate, H2PO4, with a negative 1 charge. In fact, choice C would be the formula for potassium dihydrogen phosphate. So how do we decide between choice A and B? A compound is electrically neutral. The formula for an ionic compound should reflect the simplest set of ions with a total charge of zero. Choice A would imply a total charge of negative one. The formula choice A implies a formula unit consisting of one cation, which has a charge of plus one, and one anion, which has a charge of negative two. Positive one plus a negative two equals a negative one. So choice A must be wrong. So how about choice B? The formula implies that there are two cations and one anion in one formula unit of this compound. Positive one plus another positive one plus a negative two equals zero. And therefore choice B is the correct formula for potassium hydrogen phosphate. And notice that choice C is the correct formula for potassium dihydrogen phosphate.